Hey there, welcome back to Apricot's Nest. I'm Emma, the bird lady. Today's bird is pretty nifty. It's a water bird, and I find it looks a little bit like a dinosaur or something prehistoric. You ready to learn? It's time to guess, what is this bird? Can you guess with me? It is a mystery. Did you recognize that bird? What was it? Double crested cormorant. You might see a double crested cormorant sitting on a dock or a rock, flapping their wings to dry them out after diving deep. And here in this picture, you can see the double crests coming out from the side of their temples. And that is a picture on the right of a double crested cormorant swimming. So have you ever seen a double crested cormorant? Would you agree that it looks a little bit like a dinosaur? A double-crested cormorant is a large water bird with bright turquoise eyes, a long tail and neck, and orange skin around the face and bill. In breeding season, the adult birds develop white feathers in a pattern along the side of the head or the eyes, and that's where they get their name, the double crest. Tweet, tweet, where do they sleep? So as I said, the double-crested cormorant is a water bird and they like to live around lakes and the ocean. They'll nest up in the trees in colonies. They make their nests out of sticks or sometimes they'll put their nests on the ground. This is really gross, are you ready? Sometimes when they make their nests in trees, they poop so much that the tree under them decays and then they have to nest on the ground instead. <laughs> it's so gross. What do double crested cormorants eat? As most wa water birds do, they like to eat fish. They're diving birds. They can go underwater for quite a long period of time. And it's been on record that they've eaten 250 different types of fish. So they like a wide variety in their diet. They'll fly up to 40 miles from their nesting colony space to find somewhere great to feed for the day. So they can go a long ways for a good meal. Would you like a fun fact? Here you go. It's time for some fun facts. Here's a fun fact. You might see a cormorant sitting on a rock by the water, kind of flapping their wings slowly. They're just sitting there, flapping slowly. This is a pretty common place and stance to see a cormorant. Do you know what they're doing? They're drying out their wings from diving under the water. Their feathers have less preen or oil in them than other birds to kind of whisk that water off when they're underwater. So they get really drenched with the water and they have to get out and dry off, just like they're hanging on the clothesline um, on a rest break before they can go back and dive underwater again. That's cool, hey? It's a look-alike, look-alike bird. Put your spectacles on. It's a sneaky, tricky look-alike bird. Not the same species at all. The great cormorant looks a lot like the double-crested cormorant, but it is larger and thicker, and an adult great cormorant has white patches on face near the bill. 
In the winter time on the east coast of Canada, you're more likely to see the great cormorants who migrate south to the east coast of Canada for the winter, whereas in the breeding season, so the summer, the spring, the early fall, that's when you're most likely to see a double crested cormorant here in our waters. The common loon might get mistaken for a double crested cormorant in the water because of their black head. However, you'll notice that the common loon's bill is black and the double crested cormorant's bill is more of a gray color. Um, cormorants often get out of the water to dry their feathers on land, whereas loons are unable to take off from land. So you're unlikely to see them get out of the water unless they're flying. All right, bird quiz friends, here we go. We'll show you three birds we've learned about in previous episodes, and you'll have a chance to guess them before we share the answers with you at the end. Thanks for playing our bird quiz today. The first bird today was a northern flicker, the second was an American crow, and the third was a dark-eyed junco. So what do you think about the double-crested cormorant? Have you seen one before? Maybe you mixed it up with a loon or a great cormorant? Hmm. Do you think it looks a little prehistoric, a little bit like a dinosaur? That's fun, hey? Thanks again for tuning in to Apricot's Nest for another water bird episode. We love exploring with you. We get love learning about new birds, hearing about all the things you're learning at home. And we hope to see you again soon. Again, I'm Emma, the bird lady. Cheep, cheep. So, what do you Up in the sky, they are in the pond. Up in a tree, they are on your lawn. Won't you sing with me? Birds, 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 have wings and beaks. Birds, 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 listen for their tweets on Apricot's Nest. Apricot's Nest, we'll sing and we'll learn because Birds are the best on Apricot's Nest, Apricot's Nest, oh.